Uko na good news. May have good Uko news by the way. News. As in if you live wherever you're living, I think you should be somewhere along Kiambu Road in Ruaka that yeah. Tata Machakos please. Watu wakai kwetu. Maembe ziko. We got mangoes now, you know. But anyway, um apparently a landlord in Ruaka Estate, um some apartments called Deluxe Apartments. Apparently amefamia wanaitwaje eh uh, the people who live there that are not paying rent chini because economy ni mbaya. Wow. Yeah, any from 35k per month to 30k per month. And he says that this is going to be reviewed again in 2021. Like literally on watu wanasema 2020 sisi yani sisi tumeanza you know and it's like you know understand the economy right now it's not really good so you know instead of kunyanyasa watu wangu na rent unajua na ni nyumba zangu instead of watu wahame kukosekana hiyo na hivyo ndo alifikiria watu instead of watu wahama ni wateremshe tu but upate bado niko na ganja yangu inaingia straight kwa account and i'm telling you the residents were super excited they are like Eh uyu landlord ni ule mse apatiwe mbili baridi kwa bili yangu. Alas, it's such a huge yeah. like 5k is such a, a huge, huge amount, amount of a money amount for of money. 12 months. Unaweza na tu ah ni 5k. But imagine every single month for 12 months. That's 60 Gs. Yeah. Yeah. That's 60 Gs. That's a like monthly that. shopping. And I yes. think as Kenyans, Kenyans we are good people. Yeah. You remember the Gidurai driver who helped the pregnant mm. mama yes. give birth. Mm. Yeah. It's just the situations mm. those zinatufanya tunatoa hiyo bad tendency towards yeah. others. Yeah. Yeah. But we are good people. So then, kudos to the mimi naona nikielekea huko Kiambu. Maisha huko Mombasa road imenisumbua. Look to the end huko. And then 5000 is like if the rent was like 100,000 utasema but the rent is 30 so uki, uki save like 5,000 is like almost 20% of the whole rent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. the fact that amefikiria business sense sahi kuna mtu wako na nyumba hizi punguza. Like mm. ata mimi kwanza watu wanalia economy ni mbaya tuongeze so, rent. Sasa unaongeza rent kwa sababu yeye yeah, yeah. oh yeah. landlord yeah. hosi juu kuna nini yeah. but then again I think landlord wangu kama una watching show manze lazima <laughs> tawatch <laughs> cheza ka wewe <laughs> Lazima tutamfanya watch. Ama tumtume repeat good Christian virtues as in literally yes, do we can in Christian mani nini? But literally kaka kuna Mkristo wa kweli wao ndio wanasema ni kweli. You can imagine hiyo ni pesa ngapi na month ameamua kukanyagia 5k and maybe you have maybe 50 houses. Yeah. Yeah. Unajua that's a may God bless his soul. Eh Mungu akubariki na landlords wengine please we say follow the leader leader leader. Ina migo ambayo yeyeza kuwaka. What are we review 2021? I think tutaleta kwa review next year. Tutamleta kwa show as a guest. Tutamtafuta. Atufundishe hiyo uzuri. Aongelesha watu wengine akuwe chairman. President of landlords in Nairobi. Landlords Association. Ndio Kusha. Tukisonga sana to Tanzania. Sasa I don't know if you guys remember ya moto ben. Ya moto ben. Ulikuwa unasimanga takupele pweta. Takupele pweta bure. Yeah. So all of the band Aslay alitoka pia Mboso alitoka kwa ile. So we knew them as independent artists mm. now, but they all came from that band that we really really loved. Now, Tanzanian artist Aslay aliulizwa alikuwa kwenye t- uh, radio uh, interview. Kaulizwa if you were to pick a date katikati ya Veresidika na Huda utapik nani? Akasema Huda Monroe. Jamani, <laughs> <laughs> akasema Huda. Huda inakaa anapendwa sana uh, TZ. Yeah. Looks like they really really like her because we were talking about Juma Jukes the other day. Yeah. Yeah. They were seen together and their conversations around maybe allegedly they are together, but Asley went ahead and decided you know Johnny Nani. It will be yeah. this. So she was also asked about the beef between um yeah, 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 mm. and even if there's hope for the team to come back together and they, they I, I love their Kiswahili there's just a way Kiswahili sanifu Kiswahili lingine kila mtu ashatengeza brand yake ndio maana kila mtu ambaye anataka kuku kuku tanisha ya moto basi aeke mzigo tu okay basically yeah kuku tanisha ni kuleta pamo to bring it back Join he just them. said it's diff- it's difficult right now to yeah. bring the band yeah. back together mm. because kila mtu brand yake ime stand out and everything but then again you know Tanzanians wana kiki so they mm-hmm. followed Mboso and told him why are you always uh, mm. supporting a slay mm. and his music and his career and everything but he doesn't like you quite literally follow this guy on social media mm-hmm. but he unfollowed you na <laughs> Mboso <laughs> nani unfollow back and follow 
So I don't know. Yeah. They were boys. They were really, really young when they were doing this music. Saizi mefika mahali unona mwenzako. Ah. I think it's okay because yeah. when you're human beings, <laughs> it's so funny. We don't like change. Like even today, I was uh, today I was standing on another blog they wrote about me because I was talking about something about prayer. Yani we link things that have no link because a slave even in the interview, and I don't know about surfies or radio yeah. who interview. Now Alisema, you be fiyoni ni private, but mm. I have a right to unfollow you if you're bringing me negative. Uh, I think it's very mature that if you if you don't want somebody in your life, you unfollow them. You don't have to argue. So I don't see beef there. Mm. It's very matured. Like life, you may like a separate ways. Kila mtu na mkutake la heri, tusikutatanganishe, mm -hmm. you know. It's and there's pettiness, by the way. I, I, don't, I just feel like, yeah. okay, personally I used to be in a group. Na kunile le kujia really? tena kwa group. Me, I used Which to be in a group. group. No way. I've been in two yeah. groups before I went solo. I was in a girl group, lakini masinema. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, I used to be now a tomboy. Now I'm the rapper. I'm like, atuna ite me nonsense. Me man tutafte ni ipesa. Yeah. He was tena, hey, dilama. Rama. So, as in hata, akuna wimbo iliona the light of day. I'm sorry to say. Then I left. Then wow. I joined a, a guy group and I was mm. the only chick military swag. But now it gets to a point, you know, we all have different um, passions. Yeah. Na kuna mini kidogo, mine za kwa ni koma, nataka kukimbia sana. Mm -hmm. Na wuna tika maybe ni endena, wuna tika kuna na pace yako. You get what I'm saying? Pace so saying, being in a group, that's why I say, I say, like, being in a group, it's hectic. It's like, kile, mtafika maali, no kiona mtu endi na ile, like, it's like we're not really heading towards the, the same, same direction. direction. Walk away. You know, you just have to walk away. Yeah. So I feel like, for instance, this, um, ya yeah, motor, motor band. band. Mboso ndio, tuseme mboso wako mko. Aslay, Aslay you go. Wala wengine wali usapia wapi. Eh no, you go. Kwa kwa mwingine kwa siju jina ake si kwa ubaya lakini. I don't know, I don't really know his name because I don't know whether he's still been and in I don't music or event. Because we had Enoch on the show, you know. Yeah. Tuka sikia the side of the story. Like you know what, tukajua project sambazo yuafanya. The other one, you go, but you're not even sure whether he's still doing music. So mm. for groups like Sile, okay. Sile kwa ubaya, but it happens. It's mm. life. People mm. move on, akunale wenye watakwa na ile nyote iko. Brighter, Brighter than other women. And yeah. it's okay. See story. So don't be petty over small things. Kusha ni move on. Who are you? Kuna kipchonge kuna Usain Bolt. Kuna songa kabisa. Kuna skia. Songa songa. Kuna kipchonge kuna Usain Bolt. Kuna songa. Eh, 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 West Africa. West Africa where is he move on by the way. Why? Okay, this one is crazy. A Ghanaian pastor. Pastor Nigel wacha ni kusomeni. You guys see it. Eish. My pastor West Africa, I'm to Maliza. So he says he can bring back Kobe Bryant uh, <laughs> back to life. He will resurrect ah, him. Now he will even throw in a bonus and resurrect even the daughter. So N Pastor Nigel was preaching and prophesying uh, to his congregation that the Lord has instructed him to bring back this lovely man you can see on the screen, Kobe Bryant. And he says that, I mean, um, the Lord told him that Nigel, tell this family and He's uh, the family of this man and the entire world. They should pay tithe and offerings and I will use you to bring him back to life. Yes. Now he says that the Lord specifically instructed him to announce to the family and the American embassy also in Ghana and the entire world that because this man is, uh, as you can see, Kobe, Kobe Bryant has a lot of things he was doing. He's, uh, he was a very wealthy man. He was in the Forbes list. Mm -hmm. He's worth $500 million by the time he was passing away. So um, Pastor Nigel here, Ogaseo, that the Lord <laughs> Almighty told him <laughs> that because this is a church, uh -uh. he should pay at least 10% to the poster, uh -uh. which is 5 billion shillings. Uh -uh. Now, if you don't know, 5 billion is the... Revenue Nairobi County makes in four months, <laughs> but he's going to resurrect this man and he's not done it before. And mm -hmm. we saw this even with Pastor Lukau from Zimbabwe who yeah. tried to resurrect someone, yeah. And it we found out it was wow. fake. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready to be resurrected? No, 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 no. Now, you're on a cloud chasing, yeah. Yeah. it's purely cloud chasing. Yeah. Who Pastor Meona, the magnitude na influence and you could be Brian on social media and I'm a sema, maybe Pia Lazima ni trend. What to Lazima or Jue Pastor so yes. and so mm. can do this, which is cloud chasing. Let me take you back. Unakubuka wale pastors watatu nakuru wa kiombea pastor wenzao mm. for three days are resurrect. Yes, yes. The third day, day yeah. as ilikuwa Easter holiday, mm. hakuwa Resurrect. Watch a Turudi up and I rope Pastanganga, Nasu. When I do Snoop Dog, I come on TV, I can't have a Snoop Snap, whatever dog. Yeah, so in a cloud chasing, my pasta yeah. Murudi Kwamu, pasta. Mrudi kwa mungu mwache hizi sign shows. As in people, don't be gullible. Lachans kakudanganya. Mzaka kakudia kwa mbine, as in not everyone who says that the sujuati ye ni pasta, ye ye ni nan, ye ye ni sujuati what what they are holy, I'm telling you. People in this world, 
kuna ile god ya kajika dogo mtu wangu ujui ni god mgani anasema kuna god wa watu wanaabudu zaitwa jizi mavitu yeah. masinamu ni sinamu sanamu sanamu ati sinamu so masinema za watu wengine mtu wangu kana ni mtu yako but i think wacha nitetee mapasta kidogo ya mwisho kwa sababu mapasta kuna ile neno Mungu anaweza kupa lakini ukiona tu pale pesa imekami Mungu hawezi nimekataa mambo ya pesa no tende udakupatia maneno South Africa pesa. South Africa social media kuliwaka moto <laughs> <laughs> na iliyoshwa na popular rapper anaitwa AKA now AKA a week ago mm. ali alisema he is single and ready he's to ready, to, ready to mingle that is a week ago <laughs> ali aliwachana na baby mama who is also a top DJ anaitwa DJ Nzile watu walifikiria amerudiana na Bonang Mateba mm. who, who is one of the top socialites wa South Africa mm. but that was not the case kwa sababu pale aka alikuwa ana hit likes za Bonang hapo dio chini mm. sasa when is <laughs> this week <laughs> akasema aka post a mysterious lady na aka caption new bay New watu wakastuka oh. a week ago you were single you, you, you were single you were busy this liking week, Bonang's pictures you were you were taken so watu wakasema hapa hivi huyu DJ Nzile awache kutekiwa advantage na nani na aka kwa sababu yeye ndio baby daddy amesema awache kutitiwa vibaya so hiyo ndio ilikuwa kumewaka ah. online So do you think do feel... baby mamas wanna take you advantage? No, I feel like an objectify yeah. wana wake wenye wako kwa nini yake because yeah. as in by the time you're saying hashtag new bay. I know. So you just write bay. What do we need to know that it's new old or exactly. new? Exactly. That should just tell you the kind of person he yes. is. New bay because so I love him kiachana itakuwa oya ni old, old bay. bay. I mm. think it's mm. okay my bays. It's okay. To, <laughs> my bae, it's, it's okay so to announce like my new bay like hashtag it's okay, a my new bay my problem it's just bay it's no not, it's like it's life like... love you when you do love comes and goes kwa nini nisipate mwingine my problem i not get another one why are we labeling them number one, two, three, now you see five. you see you see yeah. my problem is this is my bay now you have put yourself in my bay i don't have a right to call my bay my bay it's like about no. now you are uh, the people but, but, no, i think like, uh, yeah. sugar basi bay i'm telling you <laughs> like you're trying to tell um, your baby mama and your ex like you know what but yeah. it's not y'all i've been just like maybe parangulating with you but it's not you I got new b- anyway on to new things I'm <laughs> one ah, new things bye bye okay anyway okay moving forward so uh, uh, be high but just lazima tukue compose like you know queen queen bay we're talking about queen bay okay. so Beyonce was at an interview um in UK um the L magazine and she actually was talking about the cu- a couple of number of okay She's had a number of miscarriages before she had blue ivy in 2012 and you know like she felt some type of way she was so low like she didn't even know she was gonna pull through sometimes and even Jay-Z ndo nakwambia this is the real baiting zachana na wengine hapo one week <laughs> Jay-Z even wrote a song and in the song she was like last time the miscarriage was so tragic we was afraid you'd disappear but now nah, baby you magic hey! 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 I'm telling you So that was one of the lines in um, one of Jay-Z's songs. Okay. And you know, beyond to better head right, you know, having miscarriages taught me that I had to mother myself before I could be a mother to someone else. And ask me anything. Um she was doing an interview there ask me anything the way um celebrities go online yeah. and they're like, "You know what? Ask me whatever I'm gonna like um answer your questions, sure. you know." And this is when this whole thing came through and she was like, "Then I had blue and the quest for my purpose became so much deeper." Yeah. So for her it was more of a lesson. Yeah. Um, having the miscarriages you know going through the loss you're trying so hard it's not happening because actually she later had um Rumi and Sa like five years later yeah mm-hmm. so yeah. you know life happens and it's okay if you're losing them do not worry you never know mm. and, and it's, it's really important because it even yeah. taught her that there's so there's so much yeah. more for life you mm-hmm. can live for than just the fame the money because yeah. you are here trying to get a baby and you keep losing them mm-hmm. then you become more grateful for even the little things mm-hmm. around you but Sarah i think as, as 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 a family in a family setup mm-hmm. in friends setup 
we ask the most irrelevant question yeah. to yeah. people. Oh, okay, preach, when, 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 when are you getting <laughs> when, married? I know. When, 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 you I'm married to your family. You know after you get married, with, after yeah. you get married, you're like, oh, when are you having kids? Okay, yeah. you struggle, you struggle. After yeah. four years, you have a kid. When are you having second uh, uh, born? Uh, when, uh, when, uh, it is uh, always, uh, it is always when, 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 when. To watch a kuliza questions irrelevant. Because at the where where the person is yeah. at that yeah. moment in life. Now these That's are the true. same people, yeah. my sisters and brothers, who are telling you you cannot say hashtag new bay. Now, no, now, now. Uh, uh, <laughs> by the way, a song, a song, okay, like, okay, uh, okay uh, let me tell you about that. Hashtag new bay. Wadini Watiba. Hashtag Sabina. Hashtag Sabina. What's your name? Your story. I'll be on the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y